So I have the problem here, so you can pause the video in case you haven't read the question, so let's move on to the solution. So the situation we have is we have an incline with an angle theta and then we have a dustpan that's moving downwards and then as it moves downwards it collects dust and so it accumulates mass. So for the time being I'm going to let this distance to be x. So this is going to be the total distance traveled by the dustpan. So what we're trying to find is the acceleration of this dustpan. So we're trying to find the acceleration. So how do we find this? Well the key is to consider the momentum. So what is the momentum of the dustpan uh, for a given x? Well momentum is equal to mass times velocity. And for mass, it's going to be equal to sigma x because sigma, as you see from the question, sigma is equal to the density. So after traveling x uh, meters down the slope, we would have accumulated sigma x amount of dust, so that would be the mass. And velocity is just going to be x dot, so the time der derivative of x. So while taking the derivative of both sides, this is going to be equal to the force that's being applied to the system, so being applied to the, du the dustpan. And in this case, the only force that uh, exists is gravity. and also the normal force acting uh, due to the incline. So let's differentiate the right part first. So we're going to have a d dt of x, x dot, and then using the product rule we're going to get sigma x dot squared plus x, x double dot. So this is the derivative of the right hand side and this is going to be the net force that's acting on the dustpan. Well the uh, gravity that's acting in the direction normal to the incline that's going to be cancelled out by the normal force, right? So the net force that's acting on the dustpan is going to be pointing downwards. So essentially we have mg sine theta. So we're taking this direction as positive. So what is m? So it's the same as this. So m is just sigma x. So this is going to be sigma x g sine theta. And so we have our equation. So we have this equal to this. And so if you notice, you can actually cancel out the sigmas. And so you end up with a nice differential equation. So you have x g sine theta being equal to x dot square plus x, x double dot. So don't forget we're trying to find the acceleration of of the dustpan, so we're trying to find x double dot. But it seems like at this point the only way to do it is to solve this differential equation. So this seems like a pretty difficult differential equation to solve, but there's actually a trick we can do to find the solution. So let me just copy out the result that we have for the time being. So x dot square plus x times x double dot. So the trick is we're going to let our answer be equal to 1 half kt squared. So k is going to be some constant that's going to be a function of g. So why do we know this? And that's because the only uh, constant that we have in this equation is g and also theta. So this is going to be a uh, k is going to be in terms of g and theta. And so if our solution x is going to satisfy this differential equation. This k here is going to have to be uh, a function of, have to be dependent on g and, and theta. And since it's de uh, defined, is it's a function of g, so by comparing the uh, the units, we will know that there is there is bound to be a t square term that's going to be multiplied to k. So it's by necessity that our solution is going to look something like this. And notice that this actually assumes that the acceleration is going to be constant, because if you take the first derivative, you get kt. If you take the second derivative, you get k. So k is going to be actually be our solution, because in this question we're trying to find the acceleration of the dustpan. And the acceleration of the dustpan is actually going to be k. And the thing is, uh, we actually don't know if the 
acceleration is going to be, co be constant, but it turns out if we substitute the solution inside, everything's going to work out. So it's by necessity, it's going to have to be constant. So we're going to substitute this into our differential equation to try to find k. So on the left hand side we have 1 half kt squared g sine theta equal to x dot is going to be equal to kt, so we have k squared t squared. So x times x double dot, so we have 1 half k squared t squared. So arranging the terms we can get rid of the t squares. You can add these two together, so we have 3 over 2k squared. On the left hand side we have 1 half kg sine theta. The twos cancel out. And then moving everything to the left, we get k times 3k minus g sine theta. So this is just a simple quadratic equation. So we see that k is going to be equal to 0, which is the trivial solution because we're trying to find a non-zero acceleration, or it can be g sine theta divided by 3. And so this is our answer. This is going to be the acceleration of the dustpan, which is a constant.